Welcome to Defending Digital. I'm Chad Warner. Today's topic, the best portable antivirus scanners for Windows. If your Windows PC gets infected with malware, the anti-malware software that you have installed may not be enough to remove it. Fortunately, there are several portable anti-malware tools that you can run. Let's look at the best portable antivirus or anti-malware tools to scan and disinfect your PC. The threat. If you've used a computer for more than a week, you've heard about malware, or at least viruses, a type of malware. Malware is a generic term for malicious software. What can malware do? Steal data, delete data, lock your files and prevent you from using them, that's ransomware, spy on you, including through audio and video, damage hardware, and use your device to send spam or malware. If your Windows PC gets infected with malware, or you're suspicious that it may be infected, you should immediately turn it off. Why? If you continue to use it, or even let it sit there connected to the internet, malware may be running in the background. Instead, follow the steps I'll describe later in this episode. How to increase your security. There are several portable antivirus tools that can be used to remove malware from a PC. Why are they called portable? Because you put the tools on a portable drive, such as a USB drive, and run them from there rather than using the infected PC to download them from the internet. Not all the tools I'm going to list here are truly portable in the sense of running directly from a USB drive or other external media, but they will let you install on your PC from the USB drive. Some of these tools include the latest definitions when you download them, but others don't, and will need to download definitions before scanning. To prevent any malware from communicating over the internet for as long as possible, start with the offline scanners, the ones that can run without an internet connection. After you remove as much malware as possible with those, then connect to the internet to update and scan with other scanners. A couple of these scanners, McAfee, Get Susp, and Viper Rescue, don't have a visual interface. They run on the command line, so you'll see a black window with white text appear. And I have screenshots showing what that looks like in the blog post that goes along with this episode at defendingdigital.com. In most cases, it's overkill to run as many tools as I'm going to describe, but when it comes to removing malware, I prefer to err on the side of caution. The threat of malware is another reason why I strongly recommend that you take regular backups so that you always have a clean copy of your files. I've done previous episodes on backups, and you can find those at defendingdigital.com. The best portable antivirus tools. Here are the best portable antivirus or anti-malware scanners in alphabetical order, and these are all free. In the next section, I'll explain how to download and use these. Don't worry about writing all of these down. I'm gonna have them listed as well as linked to in the blog post that goes along with this episode at defendingdigital.com. Avira PC Cleaner, Clamwin Portable, MC Soft Emergency Kit Portable, McAfee Get Susp, Hijack This Fork Portable, Hitman Pro, Kaspersky TDSS Killer Portable, Kaspersky Virus Removal Tool, McAfee Stinger Portable, McAfee Safety Scanner, Norton Power Eraser, McAfee Rootkit Remover, Sophos Virus Removal Tool, Super Anti-Spyware, and Viper Rescue. How to use the best portable antivirus tools. Let's walk through the steps to follow to use these portable antivirus scanners on your infected Windows PC. 1. As soon as you notice or suspect that your PC is infected, shut it off. 2. On a different computer, not the infected one, download the anti-malware tools listed above. If you don't have another computer, ask a friend for help, or try your local library or an internet cafe. This can be done on a Mac or a Linux machine. You don't need Windows to download the software. 3. Find a USB drive or some other external media to put the anti-malware tools onto. Copy any valuable data from that drive onto a clean, non-infected computer. Then copy the anti-malware tools onto the drive. 4. Start the infected PC in safe mode, and I have a link to instructions for doing that in the blog post that goes along with this episode at defendingdigital.com. So you want to use safe mode, not safe mode with networking. 5. Connect the USB drive or whatever other external media that you're using that contains the antimatter tools to the infected PC. 6. Double-click the tools to run or install them. The following scanners will run in safe mode without internet access. McAfee Get Susp, Hitman Pro, Kaspersky Virus Removal Tool, Microsoft Safety Scanner, McAfee Rootkit Remover, Super Anti-Spyware, and Viper Rescue. 
7. Restart the PC into normal mode and run the rest of the tools which need internet access. Those are Avira PC Cleaner, Clamwin Portable, MCSoft Emergency Kit Portable, Kaspersky TDSS Killer Portable, McAfee Stinger Portable, Norton Power Eraser, and Sophos Virus Removal Tool. If any scanners, this is step eight, if any scanners find malware, take appropriate action, probably quarantining the files. Most tools can take action for you, but you may need to manually deal with some. Continue to run the scanners that found malware until they no longer find any. Nine, uninstall the anti-malware tools that you installed on the PC. 10, to reduce the risk of future malware infection, install anti-malware software. I have top-rated anti-malware listed on the resources page, defendingdigital.com slash resources. Uh, I also like Bitdefender's software. It's consistently earned high ratings from multiple organizations over the years, and I recommend it. You can learn more about that at defendingdigital.com slash go slash bitdefender dash internet dash security. And 11, because the USB drive or whatever other external media that you used could have been infected, format it to wipe it clean. And I have instructions for that in the blog post that goes on this episode at defendingdigital.com. If you are interested in learning more about protecting yourself from malware, you can find more resources at defendingdigital.com. If you are enjoying the podcast, I'd love if you would open up the app that you're using to listen and leave a rating. Usually that's as simple as uh, tapping the stars to rate. Uh, If you have a minute to also write out a review, I would very much appreciate it. And uh, please pass along the word to others who are interested in securing their digital lives.